Hi guys, welcome back to more Pokemon XD, Girl of Darkness, with Full Boy V5. In the last episode, um, sorry to get myself comfy, in the last episode we went through Power Coliseum, and in this episode we're going to be going to NBS and progressing a bit further in the story. And what Pokemon do I have? Okay. No, I'll just leave as is. And for you, and for you who, for those, sorry, for those who wondered what happened to the under, this man will tell you. There was once a town where I sat there beneath the cliff here. The town was just called the under. When Zaphyr's hold over the town was broken, the under's citizens moved out into the sunlight. I'm one of them. OMBS is net as another former resident of the Under. They went and buried the Under to prevent people from getting to the abandoned town site. It's sad to see my hometown go like that. Oh, sorry, Mike. And it is a shame that um, the Under went in this game because, in my opinion, I thought it was one of the better areas in Pokemon Coliseum. And we're in his way again. Right, let's head over to OMBS since we've explored basically all of Pyrite Pi Pi Town, sorry. Can I buy anything from the spending machine? Yes, I can. Get some more Moo Moo milk. And I'll get some more money. Yum, it's fizzy. Okay. This is the OMBS building. There have been too many shitty people hanging around lately. I'm keeping an eye out on things. I'm keeping an eye out. Yeah, you've read that. I can't be able to read that. <laughs> Welcome to OMBS. All visitors are free to wander the OMBS building and see our network in operation. My name is Meg, and I'm the official guide. Glad to meet you. You... This Shroomish is my friend. Isn't it cute? That Shroomish ain't got no shit on mine. We broadcast TV signals all across the region. I hope you'll take your time to see how it works. Well, that's why I've come in here. Well, actually, now I've come in here to see Dayton. No, not Dayton. What's his name? Okay, I'm supposed to go see. Oh, well. Alright, let's search around this building a bit, because... Um, Spoilers, Cypher take over this building um, a bit later in the game, so it'll be harder to get the items that we want then because as of that Shadow Pokemon laugh, they jumped down from everywhere and scared the shit out of us. Hi, welcome to OMBS. The name's Sec. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. Started by five kids. Yeah, started by kids five years ago during a shadow incident. A tiny network has grown into this today. I operate this place with my partner in there. But convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth will be good for the good of peace and justice. Anyways, what did you want? Some, did you want something from me? Sorry. You're kidding. Cypher was using his desert lab again. Okay, understood. You shut that data wrong and show it to Net right away. I'm sure I can decipher whatever information you store on the data wrong. Oh, 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 network. Ack, did you hit me? Oh no, it's so embarrassing. That was your MBS song I composed. It's catchy and memorable, don't you think? Not the way I sang it. I still have a little look around. It's locked. Oh, right, I think the places where you can actually get items are locked until Cypher takes over, probably. Okay, we're going live. Q. We bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has safely been rescued. Professor Crane has been held captive in Cypher's desert research facility, which is widely believed to be abandoned. Reports that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone teen. Oh yeah, that's me. This, is an, is a, this incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. The 
That's a wrap. Good job, Bancher. Okay. I'm hoping to give it a pull. I'm hoping to put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm gathering information for it. I'm trying to decide on the star. Hmm. Since it is a program about battling, I suppose the legendary trainer Egan will be the logical choice. Wah! Ah! I don't know where my mummy is. Please, can you help me find my mummy? No! That's more like it. No, I'm not going to say no, that because we are good people. So, we, yes, we do. Yay, thank you. I wonder where my mummy went. Well, you're not as bad as Jovi, so I suppose I could take you along. Oh, no shots, please. Oh, not me then. Man, is she slow? How long is she going to keep me waiting, bro? I'm supposed to be out covering the story of our old veteran reporter, but she takes forever getting ready every time. The day will be done at this rate. Dear, can't you see that lady is getting ready? Please don't come in any closer. Yeah, I don't think you can get yeah, any of the items until Cypher takes over, probably. Ah, here's the mum. Oh, this isn't going well. I have to rest soon, but my candy hasn't come back. I want candy. Do, 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 do. Oh, mummy. Candy, sweetheart. Mummy. Oh, my God, to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm sorry, mummy. I went out of the room just for a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy brought me here. Oh my, how very kind of you. Thank you. It was nothing. Anything in here? Oh, an item. Will you let me open it? No, he won't. Hey, hey, we can't have you wandering around here. It's not safe. Come on, out you go. Give him... Keep him in... Keeping? Sorry. Keeping information is, is data is fine, but I also like seeing... It kept on imprinted form on paper. You see, I enjoy the feel of paper as I flip the pages. Whatever floats your boat. He's got a fetish for flipping books, pages. Okay. That makes sense. And that's Marabee's old hideout. I've been told by Net to not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab, but I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Detro, do we have a visitor? Oh, Nat, this person here says he's calling from the Pokemon HQ lab. Oh, yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Oh, sure thing. I'll let him through. Now, please, Nat's waiting for you inside. Not like I wasn't going to beat you out of the way anyway. Anything over here? No. Okay. Right, okay. I know it's a long shot, but I'm going to try and get through this, um, this cutscene or speech or whatever without messing up any words. So I might read a bit slow. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're Ben, right? I'm that. And this is Bit. He... She messed up. <laughs> He's my friend and an invaluable partner. Pleased to meet you. You heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit, but now's not the time to waste chatting. Let's see the data Professor Crane talked about. Or called about, even. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings up memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this data ROM. Can you wait for me while I do that? Hey Net, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Duking at one of his Poke spots to file a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not even go visit Duking as well? Hey, that's good. Good suggestion, Bit. Give yourself a cookie, Bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? It wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh yes, may I have your PDA number? I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Thank you, I'll try and decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, what is our news where is our news team? Um, I think they said the rock pokey spot. I think the rock pokey spot is is this distant destination. Okay Ben, go out to the pokey spot and wait for me to call. Who knows, you may see some wild Pokemon. It would make my day if we did.
Right, so I could cut this out, but it's not that far anyway, so. That's basically the OMBS building, so if you've been watching, you should, should, sorry, you should know your way around it for when, um, Cypher take over. And there's that Pokemon healing machine on the top floor, so... Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear you. If we don't hurry, the bus will get him in... Well, the bus will get impatient and come looking for us himself. Eee! <laughs> We're okay on that score. I went and stuck a transmitter on the boss. You can tell where he is by checking his way radar, so we can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I have to hand it to you, Farley. Way to go! Huh? Truly, looks like we've got email. Gah! Is it the boss? Hmm, let's see. You two come back right now, it says. Oh, gosh darn it all. He sounds like he's fuming. He might dock us at dinner again. We better scoot back. Tch. Well, to so much for this radar. It's not much use if the boss is going to keep paging us by email. Oh, man, why do our lives just be this tragic? Poor them. Yeah, that's the battle circle, if you want to train up some Pokemon. And actually, let's go and look at that fortune telling place, because we didn't on the way in. Have you heard? Well, Pokemon have appeared. Fan Feti Fa Fatine, who's considered Pyrite's mother, foretold the appearance of Pokemon in the wild. Well, it came true. It's incredible. We'll now be able to catch wild Pokemon right here in your region. I would talk to her, but I can't be bothered. Right, so to the rock pokey spot. A rough and rocky pokey spot where wild Pokemon appear. Now we're getting to the Coliseum aspect of it where everything's a desert. Hello, people, it's time for Poffy's fast break report. We're bringing you news while it's breaking. Today we're visiting Duking, the discoverer, discoverer of what pokey spots for wild Pokemon gather. Duking is said to be the driving force behind the boom and popularity of wild Pokemon in Pyrite. Duking, so is this the Poke Spot that you discovered? Hello, Duking here. Yes, that's absolutely right. For 15 long and torturous years, I toiled, snatched in deep, only. Rudging it. To find this Poke Spot. 15 years? Is that true? Uh, yeah, uh, one shouldn't let the details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? It, it's Pofty! Alright, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a Poke Spot. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? Oh, you there? Yes, you kid, you'll be perfect. Come over here, mate. Okay, let's do it. Alright, my friend, let me show you how to attract wild Pokemon to a Poke Spot. First and above all, you need these Duking brand Poke Snacks. Here, I'll give you some. Alright, my friend, let us put your snacks out on the plate there. Go on now. Right, um, how many you put on is how likely a Pokemon's to appear, a Pokemon is to appear, and also how long it will stay there for. Um, because you do get a Poke Spot radar on your PDA, so you'll be able to tell when a Pokemon, a wild, a wild Pokemon's there, sorry. And, so like, if you only put like two Poke snacks there, it wouldn't stay there very long, but if you put something like ten there, it would stay there for quite a while. So, I'm just going to put 5 down. Very good, mate. That's how you do it. When you've laid out the Poke Snacks, leave the area. Eventually, a wild Pokemon will come along. Just you wait. The more Poke Snacks you lay out, the longer a Pokemon will stay to eat, making it that much easier to catch. This is also important. My specially made Spot Monitor. This, I'm sure you'll agree, is something awesome. My goodness, you developed this device yourself? Yeah, uh, one should let the details get in the way of the story. Isn't that right, Betty? It's Pofty! By the way, Duking, couldn't, can you tell us what a spot monitor is? I'm glad you asked me that. My spot monitor is a dandy. Is it a dandy? It lets you know what's happening at any Poke Spot wherever you are. Here, my friend, as my thanks for he you hearing me out patiently, I'll make a gift of this too. Slot it into your PDA. That's all you need to make do to make it work. Simple. Simples. And there we are. Alright, now you're set. Now when a wild Pokemon appears at any Poke Spot, your Spot Monitor will respond and alert you. I found three Poke Spots in all. There's one to the west of this one here. 
That's right, around here. There, sorry. Use these Poke Sparks and catch yourself some one Pokemon. Give it a try, mate. Right, um. Right, if we go here, there's a Rock Poke Spot, the Oasis Poke Spot, and a Cave one as well. Each Poke Spot attracts different Pokemon, of course. So. Oh, it's you. You're that lad who helped us out on the news show. Thanks much, mate. I'm surprised you came out to a place like this. I mean, you're seriously interested in wild Pokemon. That's marvellous. This makes it all worthwhile. My teaching you, I mean. So if you're a fine, upstanding lad, lover of wild Pokemon, I have some information that you'll find to be special. But my friend, I also have a favour to ask. That's a fair deal, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, ha. Thank you kindly. You see, there are several Pokemon that hardly ever show up at Poke Spots. Trapinch, Surskit and Wooper. I'm having a rotter time of it trying to catch the, those three. If you were to catch them, I'd gladly trade you some of my Pokemon, mate. I'm counting you, mate. I've got to be on my way now. And sorry if I got my words jumbled up there. Whoops, mustn't forget. I promised to give you some special information, didn't I? If you go way off to the north east, there's a Poke Spot that's hard to find since it's in a cave. That's my favourite Poke Spot. You've got to go see it. Well, I suppose I should get going on my way. Real pleasure chatting with you again, mate. I'll be heading back to Pyrite. Come visit whenever you like. Let's meet again, mate. Adios. So that place in Pyrite... Oh, sorry, that was my uh, hand on the mic. So that place in Pyrite, with um, the old woman, that's where Duking lives. And that's where you'll have to go if you catch a trap in Skur, or the other Pokemon he said. So we'll go over to the cave Poke spot for a nice surprise. What do you figure the boss is going to do now? I'm tired of this life, man. I need to put down roots somewhere. Uh, don't whine too much. You know what the boss always says. We'll get Team Myra B to go one day, and we'll work. We'll earn all the Pokemon in the world. Sure. Do you really think we could pull off something like? Wow, boss. Oh, phew. It's just some kid. Don't sneak up on me like that. Don't be so jumpy. I've got my radar. We'll know if the boss is coming around. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hey, hey, hey. The radar's got something. It's the boss, Myra B. Such an epic per character. This is probably my favourite character in the entire game. Whoa, hey, my posse. Have you round up Pokemon like I wanted? Hmm? Stop the music. Oh, 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 I sense a pleasing scent of Pokemon. Oh, yes, I do. Maybe you're just a little hood, but m maybe you're also a one fan trainer with the goods? How about you get with and enjoy my posse? Be one of us, and you should be, you'll soon be opening all the Pokemon around the world. Yes, I will. Oh, I hear you math say, but your heart's not it. I can't abide that. It's big decision time. You need to think hard before you choose a life cram. So tell me, will you join my posse? I guess because the game won't let us. No. Phew, I thought you'd say that. You always had the smell to me. You see, that you'll be our enemy? How I deal with this Fred is a nip to it. Well, it's a bud yet. Okay. I'll be showing my power now. Try not to be blown away by my sense of wow. Let the music play! Uh, this is my f I'm don't know. This is either my favourite uh, battle theme, or the one where you battle at outskirts standards in this game. I'm torn between both of them. Anyway, once we get this battle done, I'll probably be ending off the video. And also, Myra B. Oh, I'll return Shroomish because he's not going to do good much here. Um, I'll get Espeon out. And Myra B. Uh, every later on in the game, every Shadow Pokemon that you miss, Myra B. will have. And then once you battle him again, um, he will have the Pokemon that you missed. So. I just love this battle music so much. And I thought he was stronger than this actually. Of course if you played Coliseum he had um, four Ludicolos. I think at the moment he has four Lombres actually. And he might have a Shadow Pokemon, I'm not sure.
and um, confusion and side beam, I suppose. Sorry, I lost my trade of thought there for a few seconds there. And that almost got rid of it one straight away. About to use his side beam. And we'll use quick attack on that one and side beam on that one. Yeah, that's the Shadow Pokemon he has, it's a Volt Orb. Well, my Esper ain't got no weapon, um, I am sorry, so you're not going to get anything from her. Right here, let's get this Volt Orb. You know what, I'm just going to try and catch it. Oh yeah, nice. Don't have to use a move on it. You messed up my rhythm, I just can't, no, I just can't do it. Right, I'm not going to read through this because um, I'm getting really high on time. Basically, has he dropped it? Does he drop it? Yeah. You basically, you get this Myra B radar, and whenever it pops up, he'll be somewhere. And that's where you go, and then... He'll appear um, until you catch his um, last Shadow Pokemon. And we've got a message here. Ben, I haven't completed analysis on data wrong, but I did make a stunning discovery of Salfa's plan. Please come right away, we need to discuss this in person. And we'll be going to discuss it with Net next time. So, thank you for watching part 14 of uh, Let's Play Pokemon XD Go Darkness. I'll be seeing you next time.